Welcome back to the show, everybody. Future Father here once again. Uh, I would be upset with myself if I didn't make this video because I use this to get stuff off my chest, and that's what I'm gonna do. Because just same thoughts circulating recently, and this actually helps me move past that, believe it or not. But, um, man, just feeling. I, I don't know what I'm feeling. I was just pondering on it right now, and I think it's just the reality of daily life, and it's boring AF, and like it's nothing exciting. I mean, everything is great, you know? Wife, kids, you know, they cook, they clean, I work, and you know there's nothing to be you know upset about or sad about you know it's not depressing so i don't think i'm depressed i don't know i just in my head i feel times are more should be more exciting and they're not hold on all right homeowner came out and it's raining right now and that's why i'm in the car doing this um which is why I I took this time to make the video. Now I have to go into my video editor and put these two videos together, which I don't really care for. Spiritually, I think things are good. Of course, it can always be better. When can it not be better? Um, and just, I think it's also just realizing like, you know, I got stuff to do at the house. Don't want to do it. I've been on social media, like just looking at social media a lot, and I know it's an energy suck, but I, okay, so I think this is where it mostly is. I'm just so bored. They, they always say only bored and people are bored, but like, I, I have this friend who says, do one thing a day. One thing a day. All right, so I do one thing a day, but like, and that's, and that's, that's enough to get you going. But obviously, if, you know, you can do more than one thing a day, do more than one thing. But like, mentally, also, I just, I'm not there. I'm just not there. And maybe it's watching all the, the videos that I'm watching. I mean, it's nothing bad. It's just, I'm using all of my time to watch videos, like shorts, it's terrible. Um, but like, I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to motivate myself. I don't know how to be disciplined because I don't, I don't have a schedule, if that makes sense. You know, I wake up, I go to the gym sometimes, depending on like if Melinda needs me in the morning and then I go to the job site where I'm at and I work and I just, I, that, my job schedule is inconsistent and that makes me inconsistent. And so how do you stay disciplined in that? And there's just so much inconsistency. And I thought about for a time getting a, a regular job. I think I mentioned this before but then it's like, last time I got a job, things picked up to where, like, things picked up in the way I wanted it to. And I feel like this time, it's like, I'm waiting for the next step. And as soon as I get a job, I'm gonna reach that point and I'm gonna be like, adios again. And then, like, what was the point of doing all that? Like, wasting everyone's resources to train me. Anyways, I'm just in this weird space and I don't like it because I feel lazy all the time. I don't like to feel lazy because although I am, I love being lazy, don't get me wrong. Um, I just don't like this stage. And that, and, and that in itself is depressing. You know what I'm saying? Like not knowing what to do, not knowing how to motivate myself, not knowing how to be disciplined in this, not knowing how to set my schedule. There's a lot of like, I don't know how to's. And yeah, 
a lot of things to figure out and I don't like it because it's not that comfort level where you have that like nine to five job where it's just like, okay, I work from nine to five. I can work out before I go home, I eat, I spend time with the kids after maybe like, you know, hang out with said family or said person, you know, at nighttime, sometimes of the week. And then Saturday, Sunday is my days off. Perfect. Great. And then next week, repeat, rinse and repeat and do it again. Like that to me is comforting. This where I have to figure it out myself is not comforting because I have to figure out for myself and I've never done this. And I think that's ultimately my issue. Thanks therapy, Twitter. X therapy. Appreciate it. Bye.